My name is Corey Fulton. My program is zoology. Bees are really important. You know, they, they pollinate everything. And so it's really important that we sustain pollinators the best we can. Bee populations have been declining, honeybee populations in particular, and we don't really have a clear-cut answer on why they're declining. And it's a combination of possibilities, you know, we're introducing pesticides into their hives as well as when they're foraging and they're bringing those back, and that, that can affect a honeybee on multiple levels. And what we actually found was a high residue of miticides, which are intentionally introduced into hive to combat varroa mites, which are destructive, it can destroy colonies. And so for my research, I looked specifically at one of those miticides, which was fluvalinate. So we already knew the contamination of hives that were in apiaries, so I s started buying commercial wax through beekeeping suppliers, and I tested the concentrations in that wax and found they were also highly contaminated. So then I looked at the potential for that miticide to transfer from wax into pollen. Uh, what I found was that it actually suggested that it could transfer out of contaminated wax into this food source. So even beekeepers who specifically aren't treating with pesticides intentionally or using organic practices or anything like that, their bees are still being exposed to this miticide. So I analyzed my samples on a GCMS to detect for trace amounts of pesticides. And that kind of training is very specialized. And so I got you know two and a half years year of working on analytical instrumentation like a GCMS. And so that set me up really well to keep working in environmental toxicology. Corey was honored with the top CTAC award, which stands for Society of Environmental Toxicology and Chemistry. It's a national, actually an international society that deals with toxicology. They give one award to a master's student annually, and Corey Fulton uh, won that award in 2018. SIU has a really good graduate program for those interested in wildlife. They have a zoology program, and they have the wildlife lab and the fisheries lab, and forestry even. And so I really wanted that kind of degree of specificity in my master's. And Dr. Leidy is one of the best in his field for what he does for toxicology. The field of environmental toxicology is a, is a very hot topic. There are a lot of jobs in the environmental toxicology world. And while I was here, I helped other grad students with some of the other projects they were running using some of the other instruments in our lab. She took on several extra projects as part of her master's and working with Tenix is one of those projects. Tenix is a porous polymer bead that we use to look at desorption of hydrophobic organic contaminants from sediments. And so she's pulling the Tenix off of the sediment and then we're going to extract the toxicants from the Tenix using organic solvents and then amply quantify those on a gas chromatograph using all these different instruments and learning how to maintain them and learning all the chemistry behind it helped me become the researcher that I am today for the university.